my name is Dr. Hannigan, and I'm going to be performing your cranial nerve examination for today. So, um, according to my charts here, um, you're looking for the just the the general battery of um, how would you say it just tests for you today, right? Okay, good. So it shouldn't take more than. 15, 20 minutes, and you'll be in and out before you know it, okay? All right. Um, but uh, before I begin, though, let me just verify the information that I have on my clipboard for you, just so I'm not getting the wrong person or anything like that. So, uh, what is your full name? And your date of birth. And your current address that you reside at. Okay, uh, emergency contact information. Lastly, what is your star sign? I pegged you for that. Okay. All right, I think that covers the uh, general introductions. So, uh, what I'm going to begin with is just a just a very simple examination of your cranium. And then from there, we're going to go with the rest of the test, okay? All right. So, just to keep things safe, of course, I'm going to put on some gloves, of course. Can't be too careful in these uncertain times. What do you do for work? Okay. Do you like that? Yeah. It's a living for a lot of us. Alright. Now that these things are finally on, like I said, I'm just going to uh, examine the, uh, the cranium, your cranium. And just see if there's anything unusual, any lumps, bumps, sparks, leaks, anything like that, okay? Alright, so just relax and it'll be fine. Alright, so... I'm just going to palpate some of the areas around your cranium. And uh, just check for anything unusual. Pretty good up there. Let's uh, let's check chin. That's pretty good. Sides of the head. Looking pretty good, all things considered. Um, yeah, nothing unusual that I can see, so from a purely visual standpoint, you appear to be in good working order. So, what I'm going to do now is check your, uh, your ocular focal manipulators. Uh, all three of them, and uh, we're just going to see what sort of responses I get, okay? All right. Okay, so 
First things first is I'm performing a very simple visual test. Just checking to see where your limits of vision are and how well your um, your focal manipulators can follow my hand, okay? Alright, so we'll begin in the center. Just focus on this. I'm just going to be paying attention to your irises. So, tell me when this disappears out of your vision, okay? Alright. And on this side. Alright. Up. And down. And we're just going to do one more close visual inspection. Very good, very good. Everything seems to be in order so far. All three passed. Alright, so now we're going to be using this standard photon emitter to check the, um, the light levels of your uh, ocular manipulators. And, um, oh, the sunglasses, don't worry, it's for me, not for you. This thing is extremely bright and it gives me headaches if I have to see the reflection off of it anywhere, so don't worry. I know you can handle it, though. So, now it's turning on. We're going to do essentially the same test. We're going to come in and out. See how far you can focus that. Back in and out. We're going to go up, down. Good, very good. To your right and to the other side. Now I'm going to rotate it, uh, revolve it in a circle to check how well you track this, okay? Very good. Keep focusing on it. Very, very good. Excellent focal manipulators. You get top marks. Okay, next up, we're going to uh, be testing your psychophysical response system. Using these standard um, electro-tactile probes. So, just, uh, I'm going to come in very close, be examining your um, auditory channels on either side of your cranium, and just general points around your head, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to start uh, near the bottom of your cranium. Good. Check under the uh, 
push in there. It's looking good. Getting some interesting feedback from this side. It was just a misread. All right, and uh, top of the head. Let me switch to that side. All right, let's check the back here. like your electro, sorry, your psychophysical uh, receptors are also working in pretty good order. Yeah, no, the, uh, the misread I got on that side was uh, on part of the tools, not you. Don't worry about that. I won't be including that, so not to worry, not to worry. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing now is something that I probably haven't had more than once or twice is that I'll be checking your uh, your cognition fluid levels to make sure that they're of a healthy color and there's no uh, shortage or uh, how would you say an overflow from cog cog cognating too much. Okay, so. Don't be too alarmed, but what I have here is just a uh, very, very standard manual unsealer. I'll be making a uh, small ins uh, unsealing um, along the center of your cranium, and then from there I will be opening it up and uh, Examining the fluids, okay? Okay. So, just be very, very, very calm, okay? Okay. So, take this. Let's open it up. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Looks like we definitely have a bit of an overflow of cognition fluid. So I'll be using this uh, pneumatic tube and I'll be removing some of that excess fluid for you. Oh, no, no, the, co the color is fine. It's definitely just uh, too much fluid in there, okay? Okay, so just be very calm. This will be inserting into your cranium. All right. There is quite a lot of excess fluid in there. Oh, wow. There's, there's a good one. Mm -hmm. Does that hurt at all? Okay, good. Okay, well. It looks like your excess fluid levels are now back to a more normal uh, level. However, I will have to be 
uh, writing this because we need to check to see if um, there might be anything unusual with that. seal up that uh, unseal mark with some of this stim fluid right here. Very relaxing not to worry. I didn't know trains ran this late. Interesting. So, just close your eyes. Well, I'll cover your eyes for you and I will administer the, the stim spray. Okay. healing up very, very well. But I want to make sure that that's healing rapidly uh, with the stem fluid, so I'll be inspecting it with, uh, with these. Now, don't be alarmed by them. They may look a little bit strange, but uh, it's so I can examine better. I'll just be using this light once again. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yes, yes, it appears it is. Healing quite rapidly. That's very good. And while I'm here, I might as well check out the other parts of your head. Very good, very good. All right. Rapid rate. Rapid rate of healing after stem fluid applied. Okay. So the last test for today is to do a standard vibe check with our sonic detector. So this is for my protection as a, uh, a vibe check with the sonic emitter can be quite hazardous to my health because I'm not one of your special kind. So you can put these in. And you'll hear a sort of a low hum, uh, what we refer to as a delta wave. So be checking the vibes all around you and making sure that everything is working in order, okay?
I'd be willing to call that a successful vibe check. So, we are all done here for today. I will be sending these results to you via a secure email. And uh, you can go along your merry way like with uh, that job you were mentioning. Alright, yeah, you're free to go. And just uh, on the way out, make sure to speak with one of our nurses and they'll get you set up for your next appointment, okay? Alright, have a good night.